Okay, guys, you're welcome back. Today, we are going to be continuing in our series and we are going to be conducting an experiment today to verify the variation of frequency with the length of a wire. And in that, we are going to end up showing that the frequency of a vibrating wire is inversely proportional to its length. To get that done, we'll be needing a sonometer and a tuning fork of different frequencies. And of course, we'll also need a meter room. So once we have this, we can go and continue the experiment. Now, three things to take note of before we commence the experiment. Number one, the tension on this string must be constant throughout the experiment. The tension on the spring, make sure that it is tight at the end. The tension on this particular string must be constant throughout the experiment. Number two, you must take note of the frequency of the tuning fork. So arrange them in order, increasing order, the frequencies of the tuning fork, which is clearly written at this, uh, at the, um, this end of the tuning fork. Now, also, we have two bridges here. Now, one, the one to my right is going to serve as the fixed bridge, while this one to my left is going to serve as the movable bridge, right? So that at the time where we achieve resonance, we are going to measure the length from one, of one end to another. What do we want to achieve? We are going to sound a tuning fork and adjust the movable bridge so that when the string is plucked and the fork is sounding at the same time there is a throbbing note at a certain length length from here to here of this particular wire so once we achieve this then we'll record or take note of the length and then repeat the same experiment for other values of um, f which is according to the uh, the frequencies of the tuning fork. Okay, to start with, I'm going to be starting with the tuning fork with the lowest frequency, um, 256 hertz. So I'm going to um, sound it and then pluck the string and then observe in order to what um, to take notes of resonance, right? Also, if we want to confirm or test for resonance, we can place the shank here. This shank, we can place it on the, um, on the bridge here. What we'll notice is that it will produce a loud sound if the natural uh, frequency of the vibrating uh, wire coincides with the natural frequency of this particular fork. So that gives you also a confirmation or you can do it to double check on um, the coincidence. And then you take note of the length that um, you have and repeat the experiment for these other values of f and then we'll plot our graph and then we'll make the deduction at the end so let's go ahead so now if you observe the, there's a coincidence So now that we've gotten resonance, we can measure the length. And the length I have here is 30.5. So I'm going to record this for this particular frequency. Move to the next frequency, 288. Now, if I sound it, this is what I get. So in order to double check for resonance, I can strike it. You can see there's a, there's a, loud, a loud sound produced as a result to confirm that there is resonance. So I'm now going to measure the length from here to here. What thing you should expect in measurement of this length is that the length is going to be reducing. So here I have 
28.7 so i'm going to record 28.7 for this particular frequency here is the uh, tuning fork of frequency 320 so if i sound it this is what i'm going to get you can see that uh, there is resonance Okay. So, you can see. so I'm going to now measure up to find the length which is giving me 26. So as I begin to round up, here is a tuning fork of frequency 384. So if I sound it, this is what I get. Can see that there is resonance so the measurement is going to give me 21.3 21 so as we begin to round off this is second to the last here is a tuning fork of frequency 480 so if i sound this this is what i i get i believe you can hear it and the length is 19.5 19.5 so i'm going to quickly record that and then i'll do the last one so finally here is a tuning fork of frequency 512 and this is what i get So you can see how uh, we have it here. So the length is 17.5, 17.5. So I'm going to quickly compile the table and plot the graph so that you can see how it turned out to be. And then I will make the deduction from the graph. So this is how my table eventually came out to be. The graph, uh, a table comprising of um, frequency, the length frequency in hertz length in cm and the inverse of the length now i am going to be plotting a graph of f against l inverse and the result is meant to be a straight line which is meant to pass through the origin okay and then if i get a straight a positive graph passing through the origin and that will confirm that the frequency of the vibrating wire is inversely proportional to its length so if i plot that graph this is what my graph turned out to be so this is my graph here so a graph of f against l inverse of course you can see that mine is not exactly at origin so there's a margin of error in what i did okay or in the selection of my line of best fit so this is a straight line graph that confirms that the frequency f uh, is directly proportional or inversely proportional rather to the length so with this you can be able to confirm or state that f is inversely proportional to f